Hi students, in the previous topic we had seen different types of modes of data transfer. Now we are going to look at priority interrupt. What is interrupt? Interrupt is a request received by received by the CPU from in, uh, input output devices. Whenever CPU receives an interrupt request, it is supposed to provide service and this service is fixed for every interrupt. That's why it is called interrupt service routine. It is a routine. There is no change in this. Now, as there are many input output devices uh, that are connected to the computer CPU, there is a possibility of receiving simultaneous uh, interrupt requests, more than one interrupt request. Then which, uh, which interrupt request uh, shall be service first will be decided by this priority interrupt concept. What is this priority interrupt? A system that establishes priority over various sources to determine which condition is to be served first when more than one request arrives simul simultaneously. Okay, so all the devices that are connected to the uh, CPU are given priority as priority will be established. How this priority will be established? High pri highest priority will be given to the devices whose interrupt request cannot be ignored, uh, which will result serious consequences or high speed devices and low, lower priority will be given to the devices with lower speed like keyboard okay uh, this is priority interrupt concept now this priority interrupt concept can be executed in two ways either using software method or using hardware here we will look at one software method and two hardware methods one software method is polling what is this polling all the devices that are connected will be polled in a sequence starting from highest priority to lowest priority. That means even though uh, the highest priority uh, device did not send any interrupt request, this polling method will go to highest priority device first and it will check whether it has sent the request or not and then it will continue in the uh, same order. So this method will take more time to reach the actual device that uh, has sent the interrupt request. That is, this is the drawback of this polling method and exactly similar kind of method is possible with the help of hardware hardware method and that is called daisy chaining method uh, in this uh, hardware method all the devices are connected in in serially uh, with the highest uh, priority device is connected first and lowest priority device is connected at last and uh, each and every device will be checked whether the device has sent the input out uh, interrupt request or not. It is exactly similar to this polling method. The only difference is this is executed using software, this is executed using hardware. We will see this hardware method, this daisy chaining method uh, in a few seconds. And before that, uh, before that let us see the uh, other method of uh, this hardware uh, implementation that is parallel priority interrupt. This is uh, uh, far better than these two polling or daisy chaining because it won't waste much time. It will directly go to the uh, input output device which had sent the interrupt request. Okay, It uses interrupt register and mask register for this purpose. We will look into it in a uh, in short time. Okay, Here we will look into it. Okay, Let us look at this daisy chaining priority interrupt. I already told you in daisy chaining priority interrupt all the devices are connected in a serial manner uh, starting with highest priority device and then uh, low, uh, second highest third highest uh, and so on so this is how all the devices are connected and all the devices are sending interrupt request to the cpu through a single line or common interrupt line okay so because of this when CPU responds through interrupt acknowledgement that will reach the device with highest priority and if this device has not sent the interrupt request then this, uh, this, this signal passes to the device 2 through this PO. Okay? Interrupt acknowledgement is received at PI that is priority interrupt and it will pass us to the device 2 through PO priority output only when device 1 it has not sent the interrupt request. If this device 1 has sent the request then this vector address, address of this device will be sent to this CPU and CPU will serve the 
device one interrupt service routine will be executed. Okay. If this device was not uh, the device which sent the request, then uh, that uh, interrupt technology will will receive uh, will be received by the device two. And the, uh, in this fashion, uh, all the devices will be checked, and finally it will uh, it will reach the device which had sent the uh, interrupt request. So this is also similar to that polling device. Uh, it it also wastes wastes a lot of time. So this is not the best method. So let us go to the best one that is parallel priority interrupt. Let us see how this device will save the time and reach the device that had sent the request directly. Okay, here I already told you it uses two types of registers. One is interrupt register, another one is mask register. Okay, in the interrupt register, all the, uh, it receives uh, interrupt requests from various input output devices. You can see here disk, magnetic disk, printer, reader. Uh, barcode reader or any other reader, keyboard. So all the I/O devices uh, will send interrupt requests to this register, and uh, those requests are stored here. Now again, this zero is the device with highest uh, priority, and this three is the lowest priority. Here only four devices are uh, taken uh, considered in this textbook. So zero is the highest priority. So if the disk has sent the interrupt request, then remaining three will be uh, ignored. How they will be ignored with the help of this mask register, with the help of this mask register uh, and these these AND gates, the request can be nullified. They made they could be made zero when disk disk uh, with the highest priority sends the interrupt request. Remaining lower lower priority interrupt devices uh, will be uh, ignored. And uh, the vector address of this uh, disk will be generated with the help of this priority encoder. And you must have studied this priority encoder in digital electron, digital logic design in the uh, third semester. Okay, so when I not uh, is one, all the I one, I two, I three will be ignored. Don't care. And X Y uh, the output is representing this I not. Okay, now when this I one, I not is zero and I one is one. I2, I3 will be ignored and XY will represent this I1 and so on it happens. Okay, when none of the inputs are 1, then this interrupt status will become 0. Okay, so this is how this parallel priority interrupt will generate the vector address of uh, respective device, respect to highest priority device which had generated interrupt request. Okay, so this is uh, better than that software polling or hardware daisy chaining method. Now let us look at the interrupt cycle. Whenever an interrupt comes, these initial operations and final operations will be executed. Initial operations are when an interrupt comes, first it should clear the lower level mask registers. Okay, if disk has sent the interrupt request, then this uh, printer, reader, keyboard interrupt request will be cleared with the help of mask register, and then clear the uh, interrupt status. Save the written address and contents of the processor register because after serving that uh, requ interrupt request, the processor must come back to the original previous position. For that, it has to save the written address and contents of the processor registers. Okay, and then set the interrupt enable. Okay, because uh, if a device with uh, more uh, highest priority uh, sends any interrupt request, then this service will be interrupted okay for that purpose this uh, interrupt enable should be one and in, at the last proceed with the service routine okay before pro providing the interrupt service routine these things these initial operations must be done okay after providing this interrupt service routine there are some operation must be done those are called final operations okay clear the interrupt enable uh, restore the contents of processor register uh, restore the written address clear the served bit in the interrupt register because otherwise it will be served again. So that is why it is very important, it, uh, whichever the device that is served, that bit should be cleared. Set the low level, low level priority bits in the mask register, okay, because before, the, before serving this bit, you have uh, masked these low level devices with the help of this, now unmask, okay, because uh, task is done. Now, uh, uh, it is part of the final operations, you need to unmask. So, these are the operations must be done 
uh, initially and finally whenever an interrupt comes that's why it is called interrupt cycle it is a routine whenever cpu receives an interrupt request and it decides to provide interrupt service routine it has to follow these initial and final operations okay thank you